hello friends welcome back to my youtube channel and to my new amazing viewers my name is Tease and guys today i am back again with another amazing video okay guys so this is going to be the part two of um the important things that new housemates co going to any arab country should know before they go so i've talked in my last video i talked about five of the important things and this is the remaining five because i said it was going to be ten okay guys so let us just go right into the video okay so number six of what you should know is that you might be depressed you might or you will mm, i don't want to like because it might not be everybody you know it depends on where you're staying you might be staying with a family that maybe they're not up to like 10 or maybe they're like five <clears throat> so sorry excuse me so if you're with a family that maybe like they are not that much maybe they are just like five or they're not even up to ten you know it might still be somehow entertaining because with me in this house we are all 17 okay 17 of us so it is kind with of like with my work and and some other things it is kind of like very stressful and and <laughs> depressing sometimes but um but i'm trying to like manage everything together and i've tried to like put everything under control so that it will not like take over me okay since it is work i'm not that should be controlling the work not the work controlling me okay so yes that is how um it is see guys they are like they are extended family like that is how they live there is a house in the other street like in this our area like there is a house not far from our own house here one woman gave birth to 18 kids like 18 children guys and that is how they live like 18 huh that house i'm not sure that they might need up to like two housemates <laughs> except if they have more girls because you know the girls will get married to another family yeah so that is how this guy so if you're not living with a family that maybe there are many people okay in that family okay it might still be kind of not too stressful for you but if you are still living with family like <laughs> there are plenty like me now <laughs> sometimes it might be depressing because you so there are some places that you have to clean and clean again there are some people that will have to like call you to come and do this to come and do that you might have a lot of rooms to clean and all of those things that sometimes you might not have um, enough time for yourself okay so what I'll just try to tell you is that you should not let let that work control you. Okay, you are the one that should control your job. Okay, you should not let the job control you. That is how it is. Just try, like I said in my last video, that you should study your environment. When you study, then you would know the ones that you want to do, the ones that you cannot do, that you have to speak up, that it is too much for you. If there are some that will be very obvious that you do not do for one day, try to speak to your boss so that the two of you will come to an agreement, okay? Yeah, the two of you will be able to like come to. And when I mean your boss, I mean your madam, please. I don't mean your madam's husband, please. Okay, yeah. So, try to. um um what did i say okay sorry guys so try to like speak with your madam then the two of you would know which one okay you should cut off or which one you should do some other time maybe not every day okay yeah so that is it for that one so my second point is that there's no boyfriend and there's no stealing please don't steal any of their things and also don't try to date anybody there in any arab country when you go to work please don't try to date anybody it is very important for you to know don't date any of your boss's sons don't date even anybody in your area okay it might put your boss uh, if those people if that guy's family get to know okay it it will put um your own boss's family in trouble and also it will put you in very very big trouble and also there's nothing you want to gain because number one like if they prefer to like marry somebody that knows their culture very well okay yes because you might even have problem with the boys family like it is this one is very very is a very very big topic don't just try to do this to put you in trouble please to put you in trouble so please like please please don't date any of your boss's son 
sons and um, anybody like don't even date anybody don't even date it. because there's one lady that said she wanted to date um, one guy like there's a guy that owns a shop like all these mini supermarkets so that guy said he would be offering her money like he would be giving her money just for him to be sleeping with her and all that he said that she would have done it but um, she just like she does not know what is in his body maybe it is, maybe he has any um, sickness or anything even if he does not have any sickness like why for how much like how much like how much do you want like you just want to like sell your body for how much like you understand what i'm saying so and also if he's sleeping with you are you gonna get <laughs> are you are pregnant <laughs> hey another big trouble <laughs> and there's one girl that actually um i don't want to be i don't want this channel to be to be for bad bad news okay but please pardon me on this one i just wanted to take it serious there is one girl that was sleeping with her boss's is it her boss or her boss's son i've forgotten one of them is no it's like no there was one girl that was sleeping with somebody in that family okay then she was pregnant it's like they were now punishing her that she still impregnated her but she did not say it uh, but she was still like working with them anyway she gave birth to that baby oh, that baby is like you would that baby <laughs> she gave birth to the baby anyways in the bedroom guys in the bedroom she gave birth to a baby i think it's a baby boy or something yeah that baby is light skinned like you would know that this baby is Africa. so you'll be able to know that somebody from that country slept with her okay so that lady after giving birth she was like she could not take the old depression and everything that like is coming her way she killed herself and she left the baby in that house <sighs> guys she hung herself she committed suicide guys like she killed herself yes leaving that poor baby that baby that does not know anything she killed herself guys so please please i beg you don't sleep with anybody and don't steal any of their things don't steal any of their things okay thank you then also the um number eight is don't try it sorry i wrote it down you know i used to write things down don't try to fit in what i mean by that is that don't try to be like oh these people are my second family so let me try to um put myself inside let me try to do what they are doing hey they will disgrace you <laughs> oh god they will disgrace you for real guys they are like your second family because you'll be staying with them for um, maybe two years or three years it depends on how long you want to stay in that house but don't try to be like i am part like f do what they are doing okay they would like they would make you know that you are not one of them so don't move closer to them too much and don't go far away from them too much okay there are people that you cannot run away from and there are people that you cannot move closer to you are in the middle okay so don't stay in the middle don't try to like be too attached with them then also be more closer to your madam don't be closer to your boss like the husband don't even if you see him come like this you go like this because even if it does not mean any harm okay even if the man is not going to harass you or if he's a nice person the women in the house like it's they will cause trouble for you they will think that maybe something is going on between the two of you so please don't move closer to, no matter how uh, no matter how nice your boss's I mean, your madam's husband is don't be close to him don't be close to the sons in the house, like the boys, the sons. Don't be close to them because it also puts you in trouble too. I remember when I came, like the first like six months, in short, yes, like in short, six months or one year. Let me just say like six months, guys. Madam, my madam used to say that they should go and check what I'm doing. If she wakes up in the morning if I am working, maybe she goes. She's not that she has woken up. Maybe she just like went to the toilet. She will walk. She will sneak to come and see what I am doing. Maybe I'm not with any of her son. Or if her husband has gone out and she's not seen beside him, she might sneak. How imagine me that I am walking that I don't even know when your husband went out. You will come and ask me that did I see your husband? What is my business? 
What is my business is when your husband is guys like I'm so sorry guys it's, if my face is kind of oily today I'm trying a new cream so I want to know if it is working for my face so I'm so sorry in case my face is kind of rough today okay thank you all right guys so moving on how would you ask me where your husband is like are you for you <laughs> then there are some times that I'll be in the kitchen I'm cooking or I might be I don't have privacy how will I be in this house for two years and I'll be living like a prisoner? Okay? Yeah. So I don't even have time to even think on my own. I don't have time to, like, I don't have space to be on, in, like, in my own, I don't have my own space, guys. I don't even have my own room. There are some people that have their own rooms, like, guys, you are lucky if you have your own room. Because me, I don't have my own room. I don't have my own space. Like, I don't have, I, I cannot be on my own like this. It may be... As I'm filming this video now, maybe in the next like 13 minutes, in, I'm in the room. Maybe in the next like 30 minutes or something, somebody will come in. There we go. Like, I don't like, if I look front, they are there. If I look like this, they are there. If I look like this, they are there. If I look back, they are there. So, <laughs> is there, anyways, like for the first six months, my madam will tell them to go and check what I am doing. Like, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what she's thinking. Even sometimes when I'm just on my own, sometimes she herself she will come. I'm still I'm not doing anything. You know, maybe I'm sitting down. There's an extra room, and um, there's an extra room downstairs where um I fold clothes. If I finish washing clothes, I'll take the clothes inside the place. Then I'll just like fold the clothes, okay, and just be there if I'm not doing anything before I go upstairs to go and sleep. So there's sometimes I am there. I'm not doing anything. She would come to the room and ask me, Zaru, Musawiye. What is she doing? She's trying to look around. Her. Is there anything that I am doing that she needs to know? Like, are you kidding me? <laughs> so, anyways, I'm used. That's why I used to say that you will be sensitive because they will even make you to be sensitive. Like, uh, like they are just too extreme. So, anyways, guys, what was I saying? <laughs> Don't try to fit in, okay? And um. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> like there, like I don't even know there, there are a lot of like scenario and other things that they used to do that. Now I'm just laughing about it. Like, <laughs> what did they even think of me? <laughs> okay, guys. So don't try to fit in. Be closer to your madam than the even the girls. Sometimes the girls might not make you feel among okay they might want to make you be like <laughs> excuse me like you only came here to work okay so anyways guys just be in the middle if you want to smile with them smile laugh with them but not too much okay then also don't always be frowning with like don't always be angry or be frowning or this and around it because they might think that you are crazy <laughs> at the same time so you see you have to be in the middle if you are hungry if you are if you have this type of <laughs> you this type of hard face every time You'll be like, this girl is crazy. <laughs> I am sure sometimes they used to call me crazy. I was like, I'm not crazy in Jesus' name. <laughs> so, anyways, guys, like, don't be too attached with them. Okay? Yeah. And also, don't forget to carry yourself with confidence. Okay? Whatever thing you do, carry yourself with confidence that you know what you are doing. If you are dense, if you are dull, if you are if you are just if you are weak. They will take advantage of your weakness so you don't want to be weak you want to be strong but also don't be rude i said to everyone don't be rude just carry yourself with confidence okay they will respect you for that okay yeah it's very important guys okay guys so number nine is um expect f f s q which is funny freaking science questions yes guys funny freaking science questions what do i mean by that <clears throat> you know i said that my boss used to like just come and say what am i doing when i am sitting down why are you asking what i am doing i don't have anything to do i'm not on my own but just want to go just for you just because you want to come and see what i'm doing you will now come inside and ask me what am i doing what am i doing i'm sitting down I'm pressing my phone you are asking me what am i doing guys she will not say eh she will now go Okay, let me give you another example so you'll be able to understand this very well. You know, I want to ask you, what does um, tomato, like what is, what is 
um, what does tomato like mainly consist of or how should i say it's like what does tomato contain more <laughs> if if you get my question okay let me explain if you cut tomatoes and you want to fry tomatoes like fry like maybe you want to fry onions and you now want to fry tomato inside what will come out from the tomato first is it not water do you understand what i'm saying if you put oil inside the pot and you now put a uh, tomato inside and you're frying tomato you know that it is water that will come out first right even if you are frying onions because there's also like um come some water in onions too okay even if you are frying onions if there's plenty at least you will still see water on it then when water dries up that is when um the tomato or the onions will dry right okay so one day i cut on like i was supposed to like fry um i was supposed to make sauce okay so i fried onions the onions has finished frying then i now put tomato inside so there was now water normal now like when you are frying tomato water will come out from it so the, the tomato was frying so i was waiting for the water to dry up okay so my boss now came to the kitchen what am i doing you know that i am cooking dinner you told me to go and cook i'm cooking dinner you of us asked me what i'm doing i did not see anything so you now came to the pot you now saw water in the <laughs> you now saw water in the pot it is tomato water oh you now saw water in the pot you now ask me that why is there to where is there water in the tomato <laughs> He said that he did I put water in the tomato. <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> how, how he asked me why there is water in the tomato? Like, am I the one that puts water in the <laughs> She said that he did I put water in the tomato. I look at her like this. Like, huh? He asked me my mom. <laughs> if you are frying tomato, won't water come out from it? He said that, why did I put water in the tomato? That tomato. <laughs> Now there's not supposed to be water. <laughs> Mind you, this is not her first time on cooking, but she does not cook every time because for like 10 years now, guys, 10 years, they've not done much on their own. They've been having made, made, made for 10 good years, guys. The first, like, they used to have one, but the one I know, like, there is one that used that used four years after that one left the one i met here used four years after her me i used two years that is 10 years so they've not really done much on their own cooking cleaning so everything if they want to do anything like it is stress for them to like just do anything on the i'm so sorry guys my phone went off okay guys so like even ordinary pants pants panties like they cannot like wash it on their own it is not that it is because they've not really done it. like there is a girl that maybe for maybe for like 15 years maybe since from from when she was a baby to like 15 years old they've always have made you do now expect us to just like start washing pants or washing plates by herself it will be stress for her you understand so that is how it is guys so anyways i look at my boss like this i just did like this are you kidding me why is there water in tomato why is there water in tomato guys <laughs> anyways that you will get a lot of questions like that guys i'm for like i'm i'm serious you get a lot of questions that you will look like it's like like are you really asking me that type of question <laughs> okay guys so number 10 is that this work is stressful i'm not trying to scare you okay but normal like i said um, in my number one that that you might feel depressed like i said in number one is that um you might be working with a family like that has a lot of children kids and all of those things okay maybe extended family where there are like 15 20 people okay so you know like there are a lot of people and there are a lot of things going on you'd want to cook more food and all of those things you want to clean somewhere that you just finished cleaning somebody has gone there again to go and dirty it and this so you understand so it is stressful but that is why i told you I'm not scaring you, okay? As I told you, that you should make everything be under your control and have agreement with your boss. Don't let your job control your life, okay? And if you cannot work there, if it's too much for you, do you know what you should do? Quit early. 
don't use three months six months one year and say you're going because you might go to another place and they'll tell you that they cannot pay you for only one year that you use another two years there another complete contract so that's like three years in one place yeah i think so except i don't know but anyways guys leave there early and one of my madam's um daughter she's married so in her own husband house like in one year guys they've changed maid twice one of their maids the first one used a year as she was like the work is too much she left the second one is the most surprising she used only one month <laughs> only one month guys and she left because the work was too much and stressful so if you have the mind if you really want to stay okay maybe if they are nice to you but the work is stressful you can have an agreement with your madam okay and you will sort it out and it's okay but if the work is stressful and they are still harsh and they are you know and you're not happy in that house and all that then please leave early maybe in one month or in two months like just be like no you cannot do it again then leave and go to another place because there is actually a lady like wow there's some people that are lucky guys like there's a lady like she's working for like a newly wed okay there's something that they are newly wed maybe they now left their um home they didn't stay in their main family house they went to like maybe if they are rich they can go and buy their own house okay yeah. so um they went to buy their own house and they are staying there with two other family members so that is making for they've not given birth to kids that's making for now imagine working for just four like just four 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 people in a house hey how lucky she said that when they got there like um that they bought um i think a new phone for her or so yeah like they bought a new phone for her when she got there because her phone was not good me when my own phone spoiled, i used my own money to buy for my boss did not buy a new phone for me i used my own money to buy a new phone by myself now imagine how lucky that girl is like you're not working with a family that like they are plenty inside and also they, they are kind they bought a new phone for you there is no much work the husband and wife they are both working class they are working <laughs> so there is no kids or maybe he's dating everywhere around ah how i wish <laughs> so your only is just to cook you cannot even cook plenty of food because they are newly wet maybe you know now they are still they are not old people in the house so they might eat outside sometimes so you cannot even cook much so imagine like when our bosses like when they are not around she's in the house she's free to watch tv and cook, just to cook there's no plenty work to do clean cook no kids to take care of they even ah so anyways guys like don't let your work control you and be happy with whatever it is that you're doing okay guys so thank you so so much for watching again don't forget to like share and subscribe guys and turn on your post notification so you'll be notified when next i post the next video thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video bye <laughs>